Hello everyone, or welcome to a summary of what we did last week on stream. It was a very sort of focused stream. We basically did a lot, a lot of quests. We're heading forward towards space. We want to get done. We want to get to the point where we feel like we've achieved the main goal of the thingy, which is to get to space. We will probably continue playing, so if you want to keep watching, by all means. Um, but uh, here, the main outcome of this is all of this stuff that Mike was doing. So we've got a lot of heavy oxygen tanks in here. So Mike's done basically loads towards getting our spacesuits ready. He, the, somewhere there are uh, parachutes as well. That's right. Uh, I don't know where he put them. <laughs> but we've got a heavy oxygen tank or two each ready for space. Look at all this stuff. Isn't, what is this? <laughs> wow. Okay, that looks like a very old 1980s CAD program, if ever I saw one. Um, but let's, have, let's just check the quest lines. I'm sure there's a billion things for me to actually hand in. Who's taking damage? You are being attracted. What are you doing? Just being attracted to the cable and then getting zapped by it. Fool. So tier 4 main quest line. Here's how much we did. I don't think we've done any of this last week. Uh, we're all the way up through uh, oil refinery, rocket fuel, oxygen fan, oxygen vent. Oxygen, oxygen collector, oxygen collecting place. Anywhere in the overworld, begin gathering oxygen. So, um, I believe you're going to end up standing on this to fill up your oxygen tanks before you go into space. Uh, oxygen tanks, you can use the oxygen compressor to fill oxygen tanks, which is this. So we've got a collector, then a compressor, then a parachute because we don't want to die but of course you know we have slime boots so we'll be fine uh fluid oxygen pepsi oxygen pipes uh oxygen collect bubble distributor so there's certain things that work in the world there's certain things that work on your person um a liquid canister this is optional because you can use your amazing fluid tanks uh oxygen gear also complete um, use to attach oxygen tanks to the oxygen masks. That seems important. So we've got the gear. Now we need to make the mask. Uh, that looks like a pane of glass. It's a lot more complicated than that. So let's see where we are with that oxygen mask. So just type slower and I can get it done. <laughs> uh, it's a black system workshop. It's got some compressed steel, which we have been making. Uh, the fluid pipe that we just saw, some silicon plate. And an oxygen concentrator, which is more compressed stuff, and an oxygen vent, which is more. So it's not actually that difficult, uh, and it needs a whole bunch of methane, and that's it, really. I could probably make this now and have done with it, but we'll save that for, um, you know, the 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 stream. Any of these three: argon, methane, or syngas. You can make any, you can use anything to mix this together. But luckily, Mike's been making methane since we started. So, uh, who am I to complain? What else have we completed? Um, this line here has taken us to the ultimate crafting table, which I guess is 9x9. Nine nine. <laughs> I'm sure some things are going to require that. Um, calcium and Call of Duty plates. Heavy Duty plate is a component used in the creation of the rocket engine, nose cone, rocket vent, and spaceship. They cost tons of resources. So, that we're at the point I guess we can now make a spaceship. Uh, no, because we need nichrome heating coils. Is to upgrade the machine parts of the blast furnace and then obsidian electron tubes and then advanced machine casing. Okay, I don't know what's after that then. Um, why is my... My mouse keeps lagging out whenever it goes over something. So this would seem to be maybe another path towards making the spaceship work. Uh, this apparently was all... Uh, Optional, but it's another way of getting this white magic essence, but we filled them in anyway. Quantum compressor exists. Mob slaughter factory. Thought we already made one of these. Apparently not. Uh, pink slime. What do we need that for? Don't know, but it seems to lead on to liquid meat and a fluid sieving machine. Don't know what that means. An oxygen sealer fills a room with oxygen or the, the oxygen generator. It builds 800 blocks. Like the oxygen bubble, the oxygen confines the oxygen to the room it's in. The sealer must be supplied with power and sufficient oxygen. Uh... I'm guessing the room has to be sealed or it will not work. I guess we'll find out. So these are all things, uh, these are off, off, obviously for being off planet on different places where there's no oxygen. This is for actually getting there because it's how you make a spaceship. I'm guessing this line is already also going for spaceships. Uh, this 
crystal teeling up. So copper singularity was something that they were making on stream, and it just took oh, basically a long time. Uh, there's a thing up here. I believe it's the quantum compressor, because when you put the stuff in it, um, the singularity remains made of the thing that you put in to make it. <laughs> Right, so a gold singularity, you put some gold, 2,500 gold and a catalyst, and you get a gold singularity. You also need 5 million Fe at 5,000 per tick. Uh, what is this? Don't know. The ultimate singularity is ultimate crafting of all the singularities. Surely one of them is unstable. What does that get you? A creative mill. Creative only item. The only thing you can do with this is... Like, label a man mana tesseract and make this creative mill. Now, I believe, therefore, that is just giving you infinite power for EU2. So, that sounds great. Uh, cool. And that's basically it. We did all that. Is there anything to report over here? I don't think so. By the way, we're this far through the game and I've still got bronze leggings. I've got a dragon scale helmet, but only bronze leggings. So maybe someone can get on with uh, improving that. Did we do anything down here? Nothing important, I think. Oh, what, I'll, show, I'll show you what I did do. What I spent my time doing was to automate, through here, look, secrets. Uh, I finally automated advanced crafting. This is very similar to everything else that's really annoying in that you have to have one unit per recipe. You, you have to put the recipe in the table and then tell this to read the recipe that's in the table, at which point it creates it. So if you make a mistake, you have to create it again. So I've moved these several times, and each time I had to make the thing in there. This one is the ultimate. So that's this sus thing here, the automation interface. You put it on top, and you put a recipe on the back of it. Two problems now. First of all, you only get one pattern. As opposed to the semi-automatic crafting, where it would put everything in the chest and then extract. So the semi-automatic crafting puts everything in the chest, then extracts the thing that it put in. That was the, like the the semaphore, the little token item that meant some of the craft, right? <laughs> So to make a thing, the problem is, of course, that the the recipe itself can only have nine different items in it. It's the same problem as we had before. You can only have nine items in it. This one is made of nine individual items. Perfect. This one is made of nine or, or fewer. This one's made of two, right? Uh, three and there isn't even anything in this one. Um, in fact, there isn't even a thing on it. Any of these things here, like if you want to create an ME interface, which I, I don't, right? Or an ME terminal. Let's say I wanted to automate ME terminal. This one is made of those nine things. And this one is made of that thing and, you know, the illuminated panel. So there's ten things that go into making an ME terminal. So nine of them are on these weird boots. And one of them is in the final part. And I was just thinking, hang on, how would you do that for the uh, automated thing? But what you can do is you can configure it uh, here. You can auto-eject items from the input slot into the output slot if the item can't be inserted into the table. This is exactly how semi-automatic crafting works. If I, were to, if I were to set this up to make an ME interface and put the two crafting recipes with the ME interface into here, it would still work because this would, you know, the, this for that situation would have the recipe for an ME interface here, which would not include a pair of weird boots, right? But when this is finished, it puts the ME interface here. And this config setting means that anything that won't go into the table will go here, which is exactly how the semi-automated work, crafting works. It pulls out of the chest anything that is not actually part of the recipe. Well, this will put back into the system anything that's not part of the recipe. So as soon as it goes, oh, here's them weird boots, shut them back, the ME system will go, ah, part one is complete, I will make part two, which means the rest of it will go in here into the table and we'll get the thing. So actually, that will work perfectly. 
what else have we got in semi-automatic crafting that we might want to that has a part two the ME controller has a part two and the ME terminal has a part two <laughs> I guess because <laughs> if I one thing I could do is actually just craft it right if I say hey give me an ME terminal hey do you want to work there we go there is one that's uh so can I make one? So if I ask for this, all that stuff is going to go upstairs, right? Uh, it has to craft something, so I'm not going to do it, because some of that's still quite slow. All that will go upstairs. So what I need to do then is ask for a terminal, go to my chest, take everything out of it, and instead of putting it in this one, I put it in the one downstairs and tell it to save the recipe. And then I put the two things. That works pretty well. I'm happy with that. Um, I think last week we'd already fixed some of this. I'm kind of tempted to not do it this way, but <laughs> I feel like there should be a better way. I think we'd, I don't think there's anything significantly changed over here at all uh, that I can tell you about. I've got a fluid interface filling up a fluid transposer, so this is doing what now? Exporting? I think this is exporting. What's that for? What's happening here? <laughs> So you've got the output. Yeah, I think I was just filling this with stuff and getting the goo out. I, I was being given maybe a whole bunch of canisters or something, maybe. And I wanted the fluid, so I was putting all the canisters in here, maybe with a hopper. The, the empty canister would go in here and then into the ME system. That's irrelevant the fact that it's pointing to that and then the fluid will go into the ME system this way we are running low on uh, channels obviously we're always running low on channels that's it that's all we've done we've just done a whole bunch of quests and me personally the less useful ones but you know you don't want to collide with one another right uh, and there's only this to claim I think I oh, know you got a couple here so what's this? Night chrome heating coil. Make an effusion coil. Advanced machine casings, which presumably make advanced machines. Lightning rod. Fusion coil. Right click fusion coil computer to auto place. So fusion reactor in the future? That sounds cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got nothing else to say. I'm sure I will uh, be grateful for your company on Thursday, which is probably the day that I actually release this video. Uh, remember, we're still going to be playing until everybody's bored of it. I might be streaming once Lawrence has finished, which actually we don't even know who's playing tomorrow. He probably is. Um, but once Lawrence has finished his sort of stream system, his series, which is going to be when we launch a rocket, probably, uh, I may continue streaming this. It depends when we play it. Keep an ear to the ground. Remember, there's a Discord server for me and Lawrence, Lawrence's channel. The video is probably linked to around here and if he's made one come on uh, i'm obviously well prepared um you know where lawrence is you know where the discord is it's downstairs the description downstairs is the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the stream and we'll figure out what we're doing with the stream in future bye